would say you were probably like maybe 80, 90% um, in the shop welding, learning their trade. Uh, I took a year welding course in college and within the first week here I had done more welding, you know, actually hands-on, so. They're geared towards, you know, this, the, the student, so, you know, they, they, they really make it a good place, to, you know, a good environment. The, all the instructors, they all had life experience. They had all done the job they were teaching. They weren't, they weren't teaching something they learned in a book, you know, a year ago. I would definitely say they get real world experience here at NIT on real world jobs. The heavy equipment, they bring in their stuff all the time that's broke or the trucking. Uh, we usually get students involved in that as much as we can. It is everything we get to learn, all the different stuff we get to learn. It's not one thing, it's, there's, you could stay here for 16, 18 weeks, doesn't matter, you're gonna learn something new every time you're here, so. Uh, we get people, companies calling all the time asking for welders and, you know, we try to send them as many as we can. So, the ones who are dedicated and they put their time in, um, they usually don't have a problem finding a job. Once I leave here, I'll, I'll be adequately prepared to, you know, step into entry level. And then it takes the experience. A lot of these guys have a lot of experience, so. Uh, I would say if, if you want to stay in the trades or, 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 you know, be able to get a good job up here, I would definitely, I would definitely come here and take advantage of all the time. Um, you know, you're here all day long. You could be welding the whole entire time you're here. 